is at the game in Baltimore. He was a famous Baltimore quarterback. This just did. Jamal Lewis, 11 yards. First round pick. Ravens, touchdown. He had 116 yards and 25 carries. Shannon caught eight on the day. Over 600 for his career. Jamal Lewis. 99 yards for him. Hey, the Ravens led 14-0 in Tennessee. And take a look at Jonathan Ogden right there at the left tackle spot. His man's going to go a little bit high. Look at the great job of turning, getting him moved out of the way so Lewis can get the touchdown. Under eight minutes to go. It's Jamal Lewis. This is, his, this is the old playground trick. Wait a minute. I got... Wait a minute. What? No, no problem. Lewis playing a great middle linebacker, trying to get the team fired up. His namesake, Jamal Lewis. Looking good now, carrying the ball. Eight yards, Tom, behind Ogden. Well, you encourage your offensive line to block awfully hard. You watch Jonathan Ogden, number 75, and Shannon Sharp right there. Going to go inside, but look at Ogden. Stick with his block. He knows that Jamal's going to be quick. Here's Lewis after Priest's home all-time record. Now he's got that. He's going to go the distance. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jamal Lewis. 36 yards, and now season rushing leader. So Ron Burnett with the big play after Herring makes the hit. So when the Ravens only have to drive three yards, they can do this. And it's Lewis that goes in. Jamal Lewis, he runs left, but he's short. But then we do this. Oh, ooh. That's kind of dangerous, isn't it? But it's a touchdown. Yeah, Jamal Lewis has done a great job of really being the engine. For it gets inside or gets inside the two-yard line. Jamal Lewis coming into this game, 309 carries, more than 1,300 yards. In a team. Edwin Mulatalo, Jeff Mitchell, Mike Flynn, Harry Swain, and all pro Jonathan Ogden withstood the Titans' hardest punches. Then, braced themselves for a dramatic second half. First down, Baltimore. Jamal Lewis shakes the tackler, shakes another tackler inside the 40 to about the 37 or 38 yard line. And he appears to have enough for a first down. First and 10. Penalty marker is down. And breaking to the outside is Jamal Lewis to the 20 and down at about the 24 yard line. Jason Seahorn makes the stop because he says, I might not be here next year. No one here is on a scholarship. Up the middle, Lewis stumbling inside the five-yard line. First and goal. Silver pitch to Lewis. Left side, going for the end zone. Lost the football. No, the official says touchdown. Over there. Come on, over there. Let's watch it from my vision. Does he break the plane as he reaches out? That Whoa. is awfully close. I don't think he made it. And this is Jamal Lewis. Left side. Breaking tackle. Inside the 25. Down to the 20-yard line and a first down. Jason Seahorn dragged him down. Art and David. The Ravens defense performed at a superb record-setting level all season throughout the regular season. It continued that performance through the playoffs, culminating with today's very, very decisive victory over a strong Giants team. We congratulate you. We congratulate all of your players and Coach Billick and his staff, your whole organization for bringing this Super Bowl championship back to Baltimore and to Baltimore's great fans for the first time in three decades. When star running back Jamal Lewis went down in camp, it seemed like a simple sprain. But the final verdict was a coach's worst nightmare. Baltimore Ravens suffered a big blow on Wednesday as running back Jamal Lewis suffered a torn ACL in practice and is likely lost for the entire season. Keith here, hey, how about John Fox starting? Must give him the nod. Wesley Walsh, a touchdown, we're tied at seven. Jamal Lewis runs hard, 15 yards. Fourth quarter, Ravens down 19-13. Jamal Lewis, half some play him. A week after 187 yards, he only averaged 3.6 yards a kick. Buck 51 on the day, and we're tied at 7. He scored 10-7, Ravens third. Jamal Lewis ran hard today, Tommy. 13, mm. he had a buck 19, including 13. Let's calm things down. Give it to Jamal Lewis for 11. Woo! And Lewis, who had 135, powers in. And the Ravens win. Not return Jake Delon is in. Just late.
Knight, the score 27-7. Jamal Lewis, swing, run, move, push, go, all the way. What a comeback season for him. 108 receiving yards, 27-14. Now it's 27. You know, we don't often get to see history in the NFL. That's for sure. That's Not for this sure. Time. Although this guy had a premonition, apparently. Really? And we're talking <laughs> about Jamal Lewis, fourth-year running back, Baltimore Ravens. Talking to a friend of his on the Cleveland Browns, according to another Brown player, uh, Earl Little, who's a safety, he actually told my teammate that he was going to run over us and he was going to break the NFL rushing record. Said... Little then back, he said, tell you what, he's not as great as he thinks he is. You can print that. He's a good back. He's no Edron James. He's no Ricky Williams. And he's definitely no Priest Holmes. Well, today, Jamal Lewis outran them all. We'll delay, handoff, and up the middle, and bounce that way. And there's the goal post. And you are not bringing me down. The speed, the power, and the moves of this young man, 95 yards. It was a little, you know, a phone call, you know, from Andre, and, uh, you know, he told me he wanted me to get the ball 30 times. I told him if I get the ball 30 times, it's going to be a it's gonna be a career day. And, uh, you know, I'm not going to say I predicted, but it was it was lucky. You know, I got I lucked up and then got it. No, I didn't think it was impossible. You know, Corey Dillon got it. You know, he did a, he had, you know, he broke the record, and uh, I knew it was possible, but, but when, I didn't know. Well, when I was going in for halftime and, and Jonathan Ogden said, you know, let's go get it. You know, we can get 300 yards. Let's go get the record. And uh, I knew then, you know, I got the confidence out of him and I knew that they was ready to go. Andre Davis, a friend of his who was on Cleveland, that's who he's talking about. And now you're on a list. The old record holder was Corey Dillon just a few years ago. The two guys right beneath that, Walter Payton, O.J. Simpson, almost 300 yards rushing by one individual and just think back to two years ago he missed the entire season with a knee injury yikes tom congratulations to jamal lewis well congratulations but a little bit amazing that a guy could actually predict this kind of like babe ruth pointing to center field joe, joe namath guaranteeing super bowl win when you look at this guy yes it's an amazing day for him but i still can't get over and i'll be talking about this the rest of the week i can't get over the fact that you predict that you're going to break the single game rushing record in the NFL. It's amazing. It's cleanly toward the end zone. The Ravens lead it 10 3 at the half. Third quarter, here comes Jamal Lewis. He's running past tight end. Look at the footwork by Heath. And then Lewis whoo, up the middle. 23 and the Ravens wanted him. First pick for the rookie. And then Lewis from seven yards out. And now it's a route. And what is it about these throwbacks? Baltimore. Still 10-3. In Chiefs territory, that's Jamal Lewis with a big hole up the middle for 17 yards. And then Jamal can leave too, Tom. Yeah, watch him go over the top what? here. We like to see these backs with a lot of different ways to get into the end zone. But Gilmore, surprise, 74-yard opening drive, 7-0 Arizona. But Jamal Lewis, Woo. this is what he does. Woo. And your young, your cousin, Dexter Jackson, I, I, Wow. He went for a ride. Well, how are you going to pull him down? 53 yards sets up a... He had a big day, uh, Stover at four field goals. Kyle Bowler, Jamal Lewis. Over the middle, God, does he run hard. Meanwhile, as he breaks a tackle, John Mobley. Very scary moment. Six. Ravens lead 19-6 after another Canelo interception. And this is Lewis. Now, he's wide open here, but look at the power. He had some powerful runs. And so it's 26-6, Tom. Yeah, he starts this play to the right. Benny Anderson, number 66, and Todd Heath, the tight end, going to create a little lane. But on the back side of this play, when this play actually started out, Jonathan Ogden is the guy he's always running behind, makes a great cutback right there, and sprints to the front corner of the end zone. Theme today, Tom. And then first and goal, Baltimore. Jamal Lewis bounces outside. Touchdown, Ravens. Hartwell, happy. Turnovers by Cincy deep in their own zone, and the Ravens made him pay for it. Jamal Lewis, touchdown, 7-3, Baltimore. Oh, by the way, did we tell you that the... And gives him a chance to come from the backside to get the sack. And then the next time inside the 20 goes uh, Jamal Lewis with a 15-yard game. Same drive. And then... Baltimore Ravens in business again, and you know they're going to the big fella. Yeah, and what a weapon he is once you get inside the red zone. Here from the 18-yard line, 
he just runs over three or four tacklers, gets it down to the three. Next play, you pitch it to Lewis off of the dive action by the fullback. Stiff arm right there on Brian Simmons, and he high steps it into the end zone. And that was another one, Tom. They get the ball deep, and they make him pay for it. The hand back to Lewis, and look at him here. 17-yard gain. Fourth quarter now, it's still a 24-13 game, and... It's Lewis again. Hole up the middle. Boy, he runs hard and fast. 31-13 Ravens. Three. How much fun is it to watch Jamal Lewis run the football like this when you're standing on the sideline? I'm just happy I'm on his team. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't want to tackle that guy, man. It's truly a blessing just to watch him play. All right, Ray, congratulations. Back to the studio. The Bengals, we're going to give you a theme. This is eight men in the box. They know what's coming at them. It's going to be Jamal Lewis. This is offset eye right.